And I think the reason why composers love uh, music is because you're, you're kind of jumping the literal aspect and creating emotion through combinations of intervals and move, movement and sound, and you're kind of, you're, you're, you're jumping it. In other words, you're not saying a specific thing that will cause an emotion, you're actually making the emotion. I think ambient sounds are big on, they're a big emotional, they pull on your emotional heartstrings. Yes, and I think it's because they, they become non-specific, but yet there's a bed of emotion in it. There's something intrinsically or structurally that makes a person feel a certain way, I think it has to do with the cultural, um, cultural part of it. In other words, historically, what do these sounds mean? Minor does not necessarily mean sadness, depending on the context, even though it's been, it has been related to that certainly in the last 100, 200 years. I mean, this has neither a major or minor sound, it's a perfect fifth. Um, it can be... So that's not necessarily that gives you a major feeling, even though there's no third in the chord. This gives you a minor feeling. So what would you say is the narrative of this song? Well, I think that in, in, res in relationship to the in relationship to the music, I mean, in, in the music's relation to the narrative is that it, it rep represents uh, uh, a simmering in the beginning and then a turbulence at the end. You know, that Portan and Tori really pulled off rock and roll without a traditional arrangement.